So today, in today's video, we're back at the project lawn for episode number six of the Help Me Fix My Ugly Lawn and uh, EJ over there. And what we're doing is we're going to be putting down some grub killer because the last time I was here, I noticed that there were some of these little tiny, and you'll probably have them in your yard too, especially in cool season grass, these little white moths as you're mowing will jump and pop up. And what those are is the eggs that they're laying in your ground eventually become your sod web, web worms. There's also the Japanese beetle that will lay eggs. There's also the what we call June bugs that will uh, become grubs. And so sod web worms, army worms, grubs, all those types of things, they're all the same. They're all destructive in their larval stages as they begin to, uh, as the eggs hatch and they need some food to eat. And so anyway, we're gonna put that we're going to put the 24 hour killer down today and then next week we're going to put down the seasonal and make sure that he's good and he's got some good uh, um, coverage for the next three months so that that way he's ahead of the game come spring. So let's get started. Okay, so what we're going to put down is the 24-hour killer from Bear or Bio Advanced. Used to be Bear. Um, this will take care of all the ones that are listed. Plus, there's some more on the back. One that we're really worried about currently are the sod, sod web worms. I've definitely seen. I've got. I had a little bit of damage over my yard from them. Um, grubs are mainly coming from what what I call a June bug, laying their eggs, and you get the grubs. They're all just pains in the butt and they just cause havoc everywhere they go and so I don't mind if they die. They are dying. Let them die. Let them die. <laughs> so I'm not a I, I'm not a PETA fan when it comes to grubs and bugs. So um, but anyway this bag will cover 5,000 square feet that's what he's got. I think he, uh, when I measured it out it was like 4,700 or something like that. So we're good. So we're going to use the entire bag. We're going to set the settings at three and three and a three quarter setting. We're going to go and uh, put it around, and then we're going to talk a little bit more in, for another video about the drought stress that's going on in the yard. So let's go.
a week ago we put down the grub killer that was the 24 hour killer now we're going to put down the season long and this will last us for the next three months and we'll be able to use that today that will end all the any of the grub damage and anything that we're doing uh taking care of for the next three months and then we'll worry about grubs come the springtime next year so let's go Put it all in. Put it all in. We're gonna fix this problem real quick. All right. <laughs> They're dying. Let them die. Let them die. They're dying. Let them die. Let them die. If you live with us, you have to eat like us. Hey, this looks like a good spot to rustle up some grub. Ew, what's that? A grub. What's it look like? Ew, gross. Mm. Tastes like chicken. Oh well, Hakuna Matata. Slimy, yet satisfying. That's it. share with your friends, and comment down below. It really helps.
and we'll see you in the next one.